And now, broadcasting live from the Dark Room Studio at Craven Community College, it's in the know. Good morning, everybody. Hello, I'm Megan Johnson, and you are watching us this morning on Thursday, June 15th in the In the Know studio here at Public Radio East on our New Bern campus. And we are so excited to have you with us. And as you can see, this is not Craig to my left. <laughs> this is Suzanne Madison. She's our Community Enrichment Program Coordinator. And Craig is enjoying some very um, well deserved time off yes he is and yeah. so we're excited for him um but always missed craig so hello i hope you're we watching miss you craig <laughs> so, um and we are so suzanne thank you for joining us i appreciate it very much thank you pleasure to be here so yeah so the uh cep which is the community uh enrichment program we have so much going on so excited to talk about it the community enrichment program has uh, uh short-term affordable classes we get to do the fun stuff we do anything from belly dancing and dog training to uh, american sign language and cooking classes which we're going to talk about more because we've we got a special are. guest today we do yes chef ty so but before yes. we get there let's throw it to the booth so good morning zanetta how are you hi zanetta good morning. i'm pretty good how are you are you good? Yeah. I don't have an earbud, so if That's I sound right. stupid, guys, I'm sorry. So she's all good. Yay! <laughs> so, um, but great. I'm so excited. So you want to introduce our guest, and then we'll talk a little bit about some other fun stuff going on? Yes, all I right. do. I, I'm pleased to introduce our guest. This is Terrell Sutherland, and we're going to call him Chef Ty. He is a co-owner of Bistro 252. His partner is Tammy West. And Chef Ty is a new resident to the Carolinas, I believe. He is passionate about food and he enjoys creating multicultural culinary dishes with plant-based options, yes? Mm -hmm. Chef Ty skillfully plans menus. He prepares outstanding food for Bistro 252, including local favorites, mm -hmm. side specialty soups and salads. Mm -hmm. And his meals have, I have heard that his meals have been described as edible love. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. I like that. So, um, Ty, thank you for being with us this morning. Thank so you glad. For and me. not only, and he also brought us some yummies. I'm yes. going to talk about that in a little bit too. But before we go there, I, um, first of all, I want you, hopefully, you are comfortable here okay. in the studio with us and happy mm -hmm. and awesome because today is National Smile Power Day. Oh, man. So I want to see those pretty whites when we're talking. I want you to be at ease and okay. happy. Yes. And so Suzanne is always smiling. I love to smile. I think that's one of the things that I really missed when people were wearing masks during COVID is not seeing somebody smile because I think your, your insides do come out yes. when you put that smile on your face. Mm -hmm. So from the good morning greeting to the first, how may I help you, present yourself with a smile no matter where you are employed, job seeking, retired, or looking for new horizons, starting the day with a smile is certainly more empowering than a pout or a grump. Starting with a smile first is easier than trying to get it later in the day. So I like that. Jump start Absolutely. with a smile. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's kind of hard to dig deep if you <laughs> yeah. already come out grumpy, right? <laughs> when you smile at someone, you are telling them that they are valued and worth the smile. Yes. That you are just, that, and you're giving it to just them. So that's really special. Smiles are also a morale booster and a confidence builder. It's a personal connection. It is. Researchers have proven that smiling really does increase attractiveness. <laughs> I want to increase. <laughs> uh, intrigued attractiveness and likability among humans. Smiling creates greater trust and increased interpersonal cooperation. So when you're working as a team, yes, the last person you want to be is that grumpy one in the corner, right? Yeah, don't yeah. want to be a Grinch. No Grinch. No Grinch is allowed. So or Oscar. Oscar, they're out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smiling at someone can help them relax and relieve their stress, while at the same time it will make you feel at ease too. Yes. So even if you do not like it, smiling will lift your mood and make you a happier person. So, and also, <laughs> you can't argue. You with can't that. argue, can't with, argue that. with that. And also, I don't know if you can hear, but 
when somebody smiles, there's a little bit more of a lilt in their voice mm -hmm. than when they're pouting. Kind of they have a lower voice. Too. Changes your posture, yeah. changes your facial expressions. Maybe gets rid of the double chin. Who knows? <laughs> um, we'll do it for anything, right? <laughs> Actually, it does kind of create some more, but that's all right. It makes me more. What is it? Attractive and likable. There we go. <laughs> so, that, so start your day. So have a few happy moments and smile and give somebody um, a big grin. You know, my daughter, God bless her, she had um, the braces with the internal headgear and mm -hmm. with the, the retainers yes. and all that kind of stuff. And it was like four years of a challenge. And they readjusted because she grew so quickly. So she's, they started it young. Mm -hmm. But it it just changed her whole jawline because it was right. the underbite or whatever. And um, and I always ask her, why don't you ever smile in pictures? And I'm like, that was an expensive smile. And you're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it's like, I want to see those teeth. So, yes. yes. But it is it is one of those things. So what do you find? Because you, um, like you said this morning, you got up off the boat. You had to go take the kids, or take the kids, the dogs. <laughs> to um, the babysitter. To the babysitter. To the dog sitter. So to, when you was wake, another boat. So when you wake up in the morning, do you feel like you're a smile for yourself? I, you know what? I, I just feel I'm so blessed. I get up in the morning. I can take a cup of coffee onto the bow and watch the sunrise. There, what, what better? Yes. You know, so the smile, the smile is for myself. The mm -hmm. smile is just radiates out. Mm -hmm. So the smile. For gratitude. It, it is. It is for gratitude. And uh, the day starts from there. That's fantastic. How about yeah. you, Ty? Well, I believe you need to start a day with a smile just to, to have a good 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 set for your day absolutely yeah. and it sets a pace for the day it yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. does so i'm just i just i like to wake up every morning with just like cheerfulness and just tell myself like today's gonna be a good day yeah, yeah. even if it's raining <laughs> even, so, if, it's rain. anyway, even if it's raining make your own sunshine yeah just about and a part of you know in our business is customer service right and mm -hmm. so whether you're selling food or you're selling a class or right. you're meeting a, a, a future industry we have to come across with that smile and that approach mm -hmm. i think a smile makes you more approachable too yeah yeah so. yeah i believe i, I agree mm -hmm. food makes me smile <laughs> that's everybody's food love language right yes they yes. said if um they said if your significant other is mad at you or anything all you gotta do is just take them to their favorite place to eat, and it'll just be. It'll I be thought you were gonna say window. just smile at them and they'll be happier again. And then smile and at then the smile. end and just That's be like, a good start. "Is this Food is this is... what you want?" And they're like, "Yeah." Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna talk. Hey, um, Zanetta, I'm gonna talk about the other uh, National Day of when we talk about our events because it's the, that tie-in with the. We have a flyer for that one, right? For the June Juneteenth. No, 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 the other next weekend. You do have one. Okay, awesome. So let's talk, since we just brought in the food, let's talk a little bit about why Ty is with us. But before mm -hmm. we get there, I want to know a little bit more about you. Okay. So I understand that you are new to the area. You yes, are new to this um, area code 252. Yes. So I'm assuming <laughs> that's how we got the 252 Bistro. Yeah. Very good. So where'd you come from? I came from New York City. Really? Brooklyn. Okay. Um, it's born out of Crown Heights. Um, I was raised there since I was three with my grandmother and my aunt, and ever since COVID started uh -huh. in 2019, I started working more restaurant jobs, and then we end up being laid off and oh. and vice versa, and I started getting into culinary a little bit more just by the things that I noticed that I could do. Mm -hmm. And I had a passion for it, and some of my family and friends they was telling me, "Hey, mm -hmm. you you got a thing? Like you could really, you could really cook. You could do this." Yeah. So I'm I'm told myself. I said, "Okay, maybe maybe I can." So I just started practicing more. You know, practice makes not perfect, but improvements. So sure. I I started doing more of that, and then started getting more into health and wellness, and working out and stuff of that nature, and I started enlightening myself more about the things that I put into my body. So I try to keep it versatile for people to learn mm -hmm. what they put in their body and, and all the different things that may come with it. So that brings us to the farm to table experience mm -hmm. that is part of the restaurant and part of your cooking style. Yes, farm, farm to table, I like the idea of using the fresh produce from local areas and 
put it right on the table. But it's kind of hard trying to find certain local farmers if you don't know where to look. Mm -hmm. So i just been networking with the community of New Bern and trying to get around and learn a little bit more about the area that I'm in. You all been so forthcoming and Southern comfort. So I just, I've been enjoying it. That must have been a real culture shock when you did come down. Yeah. Was, was it? it I, don't, I don't really think so because no? I was... As a kid, mm -hmm. I was raised in the South. Okay. I went in the sum I went to Florida in the summertime and spent time with family members and stuff. So I had that southern You still had exposure. Yeah, I still had that southern experience. So when I came back, it was just like And a good a good amount of community, I would assume. Yes, yeah. it's it it's a good it's a good community. Mm -hmm. Great community. I, I give it that. They yeah. push, they push, they push. <laughs> so So tell us about your partner in the well, business. Okay. My partner Tammy West is my sister, and um, she's a social worker for Greenville. Uh, I forgot the hospital name, um, but yeah, she West works Vident, over the now it's, Vident. Yes, yeah, she now works it's, in Vident. Um, East Carolina Health Center or something like that. I think they've changed their yeah, title. Yeah, so she she <laughs> she wears many hats, and she knows a lot of people within the community that she grew up with, and she tries to network me around around those so people. So she's from the area? Yes, ma'am. Okay, wonderful. She, she is from the area, and I'm learning to connect with people just how she connected when she was growing up, uh -huh. and I'm slowly meeting the same people that she knows. So it's giving me it's giving me time to have more opportunities to meet more people and try to build my network a little bit more bigger so I could meet the right people. So when you move down... Um, the location for the restaurant that was off of um, Trent Road, was that your very first brick and mortar, or did you have one from another area first? Oh no, that was that was my first. That brick was your and mortar. first one, and unfortunately, yeah. you guys had some tragedy a few months ago. Yeah, we had a faulty electrical fire. Yeah. And so, but then, because um, when I found out that you were booked for the show, I'm like, yes. Yeah, that place burnt down. <laughs> you know, I'm like, how, how are we doing that? And then um, somebody said that you are now doing more of a food truck and catering and things like that. Is that correct? Yes, I'm trying to acquire a food truck outlet for me to continue doing mm -hmm. my business. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'm, I'm putting some pieces together mm -hmm. so I could figure out what I'm going to do. And it's giving me more time to create more recipes, come up with new ideas, especially more plant-based ideas for myself because mm -hmm. it's it's kind of hard being plant-based and still dealing with certain meats and produce of mm -hmm. that kind. Mm -hmm. So I try to I try to keep it universal for everybody. And it's and given myself. you an opportunity to, it's given you some time to do some classes with us over at the Vault Center yes. as well. So July 13th, you will have a salmon cakes class that you are conducting. Yeah, salmon, the salmon cake dinner that we um, that we sell at my restaurant. We see a picture of it there. So no. we are. Can I distribute? Hmm? Is, that, is that what you brought us? Yes, ma'am. <gasps> All right. Here you go, Suzanne. All right. So um, so tell us, the what is this student going to experience when they come to the class? Well, they're going to experience authentication and... Um, is that fried green tomatoes? Just, just a yes. Underneath it, oh, yes, ma'am. Gosh, wow. I know that's a I'm southern. I'm so glad I didn't eat breakfast. That's <laughs> a that's a southern comfort. I know, and that's something I grew I grew to like. I yeah. never really liked um, tomatoes, so. Well, this is the salmon cakes, and you're and during you the get, class you're going to be preparing a four ounce salmon croquet. Yes. Um, plate plated on a bed of um, Oops, fresh arugula, arugula and yes. lemon vinaigrette, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and this actually uh, is going to be a great light supper yes. for those really hot days. It's going to be excellent to pair something with, like, your favorite white wine or drink with these salmon cakes. Yes. Thank I'm you so much. In. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that's delicious. So your class is going to be from 5.30 to 8.30 on July 13th over at the Vault Center, which is uh, one of the one of our campuses here. And we are so excited about having you. Suzanne, this can class. you share with them how, um, I'm sorry, I'm really focused on getting you this piece see. of spinach up. <laughs> um, can you share with them the it's best delicious. way for them to register for this class? So you would go online. 
um, oh and, goodness, and register so through online. You go to Craven uh, CC.edu and uh, you will see um, under um, adult uh, learning and you would go right to uh, kitchen and cuisine. I'm not sure if you can see it's a flyer here. So under kitchen and cuisine, this will open up. There will be a registration button um, right there. So you can register directly online. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're looking at our website, if you see, if you don't see a class that you are interested in taking, we are, we're so interested in hearing from you. Please uh, send us uh, a note. You can click another on another link there. Send and let us know what you might be interested in, and that's how we um, create our classes. So we have had this um, request from the community for more cooking classes, and we're lucky enough to be to contact Chef Ty. Okay. So again, this one is uh, the salmon cakes. Class is going to be July 13th at 5.30 at the Vault Center. Thank you. So not only is it delicious, but I can learn how to do this. This was fantastic. Yes. yes. Um, and I had to lean away from my microphone because this um, this fire green tomato has got an amazing crunch on it. Is it cracker meal? Well, I, that's a secret I can't give. Oh. That's a secret. That, you just have you to just come, have to, come to, to the class. class. Oh, yeah. okay. You just got to come to the class. It is so delicious. I mean, it's so, so delicious. So let's talk a little bit about your menus when um, that you're going to. So, again, you're still trying to do some catering options and yes, trying to get the other. Yes, I'm still. And I remember your menu you did. You were talking a little bit about your plant base and you had a little bit of something for everybody. Yeah. And in my family, I have a vegan okay. and I have one who tries to stay more vegetarian and okay. more away from dairy. Okay. So you did have a lot of really good options. Yes. And yes. I, I really can appreciate that very much because it's not okay. always easy when you as a family go mm -hmm. out and people have either dietary restrictions or, you know, or that's just their lifestyle. I get what you're saying. So that's really, really good. Oh, yeah. It's very good. So Thank you me. are like the Phoenix Rising. You are coming up with new ideas and new horizons. Yes. Correct? Yes. I like to be creative with, with new recipes, at least bring in, bring in new flavor. That's awesome. I'm going to win for <laughs> I mean, it's so good. And we're hoping you will continue uh, to uh, have classes over at the Vault Center as well so that um, yes, I'm, we I'm, can share with your, your expertise with the community. And when people come, they need to come with the next idea of what they want to learn. Yeah. And share it with you. And then we can build that next class, right? There we go. Yeah, absolutely. So um, tell me, because uh, you, you were saying that you were more self-taught. What yes. was your inspiration for wanting to learn to cook? Um, my inspiration more so was just me, like, growing up, like, taking care of myself and knowing that I could do everything that I set my mind on. Mm -hmm. And well, it sounds cooking. like you were raised by some really strong women, too. Yes. And were they good cooks? <laughs> yes. Okay, well, yes. that would say, boom, that's it right there. So that got started. Yes, my, yes. <laughs> yeah. I was raised by a lot of women in my family, mm -hmm. and I noticed that was... A niche for me to learn mm -hmm. and I didn't understand it while growing up but now I do I understand that you know more more women they take it take cater to detail mm -hmm. and they put a little bit extra love in what they do and then they just do it from the heart so I had to learn that by yeah. watching that over years and I was just like I, when I got of age I said oh okay okay this this is this is it so i just continued doing that and stayed my course and didn't let nothing detour me off of what i was doing if anything it, it may stagnate me maybe a little bit but it inspired me to keep going well cooking I, is a form of love yeah it's how people express love mm -hmm. yeah like you put that love in the cook in the meal and that's why it tastes so good well i'm <laughs> I just learned that. So <laughs> yeah. sometimes I notice if somebody will tick me off in a conversation or something like that or like a small argument, I would just go cook something. Use <laughs> use the kitchen as my canvas uh, and just and then come out and be like, Would you like to try to be like, Oh, this is good. This is good. <laughs> it's therapeutic to you. Therapeutic. Very That's uh, awesome. once I once I turn my music on and mm -hmm. I start floating. 
I think food is his love language. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that too. <laughs> it, it is. After uh, eating it, you yes, can definitely yeah. tell it's really yeah. delicious. Okay, you brought us something else. What uh, is this? Coffee, in- coffee crumb cake. Oh, mm. this looks like an absolute classic. Um, that this is a good. This is a huge too. portion too. Yeah. So let's. I got a fried green tomato still on my fork, so I'm going to take that first, and then I can go in for the cake. <laughs> Thanks, little, Lynetta, for the close-up. Little sweet, little. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking it, it might not be so pretty, but I'm going to take this with care. me. <laughs> <laughs> and sorry, Craig, that you're not here to enjoy this. Oh, this is really, Craig, really delicious. Geez. I apologize. We're thinking of you. Right? Yes. Because Craig's pescatarian. <laughs> oh, so, yes. Mm-hmm. So okay. he won't eat meat, but he would have really enjoyed the salmon. Mm. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go. I'm going to try it. I got to go in for it. No nuts in it, right? No. Okay. That is delicious and really, really moist. That is really yummy. Did so, you get a close up of that? Look, see that that's that's another reason why. <laughs> oh, I can, there goes the smile. See, I can't smell too big and show because I've got food in my mouth. It's, it's welcoming. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Oh, you know what this though? This takes me back to my childhood. I know. This you know, is that people. I don't ha- see coffee cake like this anymore. This reminds mm. me of the stuff my mom would make. Nice. Before her friends would come over, mm. and they would have the coffee, and the pretty china would come out. Wow, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. That is, del- that's amazing, really, really good. And my mom watches the show, so mom, it's been there a while. Go. We need another coffee cake. It was good, there you go, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, chef, I want you to stay with us. We are going to. We've got a lot of stuff that's going on this upcoming week. Yes, and we want to. Um, to share some of the events that are happening. And then we want you to stay, because we're gonna kind of tie it all back together and make sure that everybody knows how to sign up for your class so they can come and learn how to make these delicious salmon cakes. Okay. And, um, but this was such a treat. I'm so, so grateful to hear your story and for you to bring and share with us. This has been really wonderful. Thank you so much. All right, thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Don't go anywhere though. Okay. All right. We're going to start about the events. And we have hold so your many horses, guys, because we got a lot. So many things going on coming up. We we got Juneteenth. Juneteenth is such an important uh, event, such an important celebration mm-hmm. uh, that everyone can celebrate. Juneteenth means um, was uh, celebrates when slavery ended, uh, two years after the official date. I would say in mm-hmm. Texas. Uh, uh, but it was abolished for the entire United States. I believe it was 1862 or something, but 1865 uh, uh, was a total emancipation for mm-hmm. all enslaved people. Uh, and we have several events that are um, celebrating this Independence Day. So, for example, um, on the 15th today at 7 o'clock there at the Coleman Performance Hall, there is, and there we go, there is a uh, Donna. There's a, a Donna Washington is a master storyteller. Mm. She's going to take you on a journey that uh, into tales that lift the spirit and call us to care for one another, to honor our inner strength, keep us uh, working to achieve our dreams. Miss Washington is internationally known. She is a multiple award-winning storyteller. We're talking spoken word recording artist and an author and the event is open to the public and it is free to attend and look at that gorgeous smile look at that smile and how welcoming is that you <laughs> know everything we just said um and uh, megan and uh, megan you have uh, something about sankofa i just want to give a little trivia thing about sankofa yeah, before tell- we mm-hmm. start that sankofa is a word in the twi language uh, of ghana and it means go back and get it And what we mean by that expression is that it encompasses taking from the past what is good and bringing it into the future to make progress for the future. Mm. So that is the meaning of Sankofa. And I believe that there are some events. We do. So we've got a Sankofa event June 16th and 17th at 7.30 p.m. And I believe that there's two presentations um, on one particular day. And I don't know if I have that down here, but if you go to Newburn Civic Theater, we can get those exact times. It's an uplifting and thought-provoking experience for audiences featuring African-American heritage and performance traditions. The review is presented through spoken word, skits, poetry, music, song, and dance. Stage editions of Sankofa share no more than the name as each edition is uniquely created by those individual or it, those involved with no two alike. 
Come follow a celebration of past and present with artists from our region. Visit our website for tickets at newburncivictheater.org. Okay. We got a bird Sankofa. tour. Sankofa. Sankofa. That's a fun word to say. Too. It is. It is. It's full of meaning, too. We got a bird tour coming up. It's at Martin Marietta Park. Oh. And <laughs> if uh, that bird on the left is there, listen, I love uh, that park. Hey, crazy. <laughs> I love that park. Crazy looking bird there. Uh, that this looks is, like me this morning running late. <laughs> this is me without coffee. That's yeah. Uh, so uh, this is going to be held on June seventeenth at seven thirty in the morning at Martin Marietta Park. Mm. This is uh, sponsored by the North Carolina Wildlife Federation's New Bern Wildlife Chapter. This is. Um, uh, it, it is also the Lower Noose uh, Bird Club is going to take you on a guide. They're going to walk you through and they're going to highlight wonderful uh, diversity in bird diversity, mm. avian diversity in uh, <laughs> New Bern. We're going to be on the lookout for all sorts of birds. You have to bring your uh, binoc- binoculars if you have them. But be prepared for hot and humid weather. The event is free, of course, uh, but (laughs) pre-registration is required. Please go to the link for details on how to register, and that would be ncwf.org backslash event backslash bird dash tour dash martin that marietta that park. (laughs) That's that's a lot. There you go. (laughs) I bet if you just typed in that bird event in New Bern. You would <laughs> yeah. come up with the same. Up. Yeah, there yeah. you go. It's in the comments. Yeah, so we'll make still. that an easy for somebody. Yeah. So this is the next, the next one's going to be a lot of fun too. This is the Bridgeton Blueberry Festival, June oh, 17th yeah. at 9 a.m. It I'm starts looking at, forward to that. Yeah. Have you ever gone to do pick no, your I own or love, buy your? Yeah. I've seen signs all over and I'm just, yeah. yeah. So, Ty, that's a good connection for you for that farm to table, too. Yeah. Yeah, That's that's, a really good one. I've been making my way to uh, the farmer's market and meeting mm -hmm. with the locals and try to figure out something. So, the Bridgeton Improvement Committee, or the BIC, is proud to. proud to once again host the Bridgeton Blueberry Festival. It is our hope and intention that the festival celebrate our small town by inviting people to partake in some blueberry treats, enjoy our scenic park, and bring awareness to Bridgeton businesses. Proceeds from the festival will go towards the purchase and installation of swings at our park and playground. Visit Bridgeton Blueberry Festival dot square dot site again another long one <laughs> just go to blueberry festival and you'll get it for an event mm-hmm. schedule and more info on the festival so let's not be um i know that there's also a, a blueberry festival in burgall this coming weekend but let's again start local so go to bridgeton first before you head to burgall okay all right yeah we also want to support our small businesses so we have a Juneteenth celebration uh, that will do this exactly. Come celebrate Juneteenth and support the local businesses <laughs> with the Juneteenth Small Business Market. If you like more in, uh, information or want to register as a biz- or as a business, visit carteret.edu/sbc. All businesses are welcome, and there's no fee to participate, but there is a cap to 100 businesses. This is going to be held at the Carteret Community College June 17th from 11 in the morning until 3 o'clock. And I will I will be there as well. Oh. Oh, wonderful. Nice. Yes. So, another um, tie. Tie-in. Yep, another tie for the tie-in. So, and there, I sent this to um, Zanetta because I wanted to share it because our own Volt Center, Antoinette Williams, mm. will also be there. Very and nice. um, her booth is and her business is called Absolutely Crafty with a K. Mm. Absolutely okay. Crafty. And she and her mother do some amazing stuff. So go visit Ty and go visit Antoinette while you guys are there. Okay. So, yeah. Juneteenth of New Bern celebration with a festival and a parade on June 17th from 12 to 4. Henry Henderson Park to um, Henderson Park near Craven Terrace. Juneteenth is coming. The Juneteenth of New Bern Coalition is working hard to bring residents, stakeholders, and elected officials and local businesses and nonprofits together for the Juneteenth Festival 2023 in the Five Points community. Um, complete with music, entertainment, vendors, sports, children's programs, and more. The Juneteenth of Newburn nonprofit exists exclusively for charitable and educational purposes. Powered by volunteers, its mission is to actively preserve and promote the broad spectrum of African-American heritage through the educational and cultural activities that will benefit the community as a whole. So visit JuneteenthofNewburn.com. 
get more details. All right. Are you ready to get hyped? We want to get hyped for the bagpipe. You need to say that. Let's get hyped. Let's get hyped. Let's we're get already, hyped. We're let's already get hyped. We're smiling, so let's get hyped for the oh. bagpipe. Oh. On June 17th at 1 o'clock in the afternoon at the Commission House by Tryon Palace, Dennis Andrews, Tryon Palace fife and drum member and master fifer, mm. will perform several bab bagpipe selections and give historical commentary through the performance. This is a short performance and it will be offered to the public for free in front of the Commission House located at 610 Pollock Street. Very good. Okay. Yeah. We have another Juneteenth, uh, Newburn. Uh, Remembrance Ceremony and Father's Day Barbecue. June 18th. It's gonna, yeah, yeah, barbecue. I'm, I'm just getting this barbecue. memo. Even though I don't eat meat, but still, I like to go to a good barbecue. Oh, yeah. You can throw on some some plant-based sausages on a grill. Uh, yeah. It happens right. at my house some all burgers. the time. Yeah. yeah. Juneteenth of New Bern Remembrance Ceremony and Father's Day Barbecue, June 18th, 5 to 7 p.m. at Union Point Park, hosted by various community mothers with grilled food to honor community fathers for Father's Day. Bring a picture of someone you would like to honor on our remembrance table. Uh, we will have a table set up at the gazebo to place uh, and honor your dad or your loved one. So uh, what a wonderful idea. I've lost my father, so that's a, you know, it's... He loved a good hamburger or a good hot dog or, you know, just yeah. mm -hmm. being out. And he, my mom could cook, and he loved my mama's cook. Yep. <laughs> so. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a great event. Yes. Um, and mm. June 20th at 730 to 10 p.m. on the Tryon Palace South Lawn, mm. you you can come and hear the North Carolina oh. Sympathy, Symphony, uh, which returns to the Tryon Palace. Oh. So so join us on this great South Lawn for an evening of light classics performed by the North Carolina Symphony. Symphony. Sim yeah. Symphony. I, I need coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and you're throwing Tryon Palace in front of me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this year's program includes pieces by, oh, Mozart, mm. Coleridge Teller, Rossini, Roger... You know, I can tell I'm not a. Copeland. You want me to do it? Roger, Copeland, Bazette, Brahms. Brom okay, I got Brahms. <laughs> Brahms, I know. And includes such classics as Oklahoma, Carmen, Carousel, and The Marriage of Figaro. Mm. The palace gates will open at 5 30 in the afternoon for guests to find a place on the lawn. Bring your lawn chairs and or blankets. You're welcome to bring a picnic dinner. No alcohol is permitted, however. The concert is free and it's open to the public. This uh, new this year is that security at the entry gates will be checking all bags and backpacks. Very good. I'm I'm a cook. I'm a cook there one day. I told ah. myself that. I walked past. I said, I went to that the would be oyster nice. thing. And pets there. are not That's allowed awesome. at this event. FYI. Yep. And pets are not allowed at this event. Okay. If you've you've not been yet, have you? To I I have. I oh, have. you have? You've been to yeah. one of the concerts on the lawn? No, not the concerts. I've been to on the lawn. I had five oysters, and then I'm, now I'm done. Uh, <laughs> I, I told you that day. I saw you that day that box. you were going, and you yeah. asked me if I'd had them. I said, I've had one fried oyster in my life, and it's a one and a done. I had five, and now I'm done. Yeah. What? I, no, I'm not a big fan. It's, uh, it's the texture. Fried oysters? Mm. It's the texture. What? Mm -mm. Oh, nope. Okay. I prefer salmon cakes. Uh, no, no, no calamari? I oh, love yeah. calamari. Oh, yeah, yeah. We I love calamari. Okay. Yes. Okay, so, um, but if you've not been to the symphony, you really need to go. I can tell you if you come in on the side that's by the History Center, if you go into yeah. that side gate, march yourself all the way to the other side of the lawn. There will be shade over there much um. longer than there is on the other side. Oh, okay. That's a little been there done that trick <laughs> yes all right we're gonna have chef's feast at tryon palace june 22nd from 5 30 to 8 at the north carolina history center ah. this food tasting this is what you got to get involved with next time ty okay yes you got to get oh, involved I, with this one he's okay. part of it now. yes i'm Are you? i'm in yes. this one I, yes. I thought it was the other one that was on the um 17th i believe Okay, so you're, but, you're part of yes. this one. Yeah, I'm part of this one. Fantastic. This food tasting event is a collaboration of, of the food banks of Central and Eastern North Carolina and several of the region's most celebrated chefs. Guests will include a wide variety of food and an open bar of regional and local beers and wines. Additionally, guests can enjoy live music, a live and silent auction, and ample outdoor terrace overlooking the beautiful uh, Trent and Noose Rivers. 
Um, Chef's Feast will showcase a decadent array of local signature dishes from Cork Wine and Bistro Executive. Chef Mike Lynch, the flavors of the Flavor Hills by Chef Morgan. Uh, the Flame, Chef's uh, Smoke, Sarah's Big Apple, which is Chef Sarah Walston, Broad Street Takeout, which is Chef Curtis Stewart, oh, and our Bistro 252, Chef Terrell Sutherland, woohoo! And Shortway Brewing Company. Tickets are $85 each or $165 a pair. Visit, uh, head to visitnewburn.com uh, for the event page to purchase tickets. Now, also, um, that this upcoming, not this weekend, next weekend, which is, throw me a date. What's the next weekend's date? <laughs> Hold on. Got it. I'm going to. I got to pull up on my the, phone. This was quite a mouthful. I, I'm still eating all the salmon, so I've got a, quite a mouthful. But uh, all oh, of those events. Right? It's a lot. That's it's a, a lot going lot. on. We got a lot going so on. So I said that I was going to share the last um, national day of today. It is National Megalodon Day. Do you know what a megalodon is, Ty? Oh, enlighten me. A megalodon, it's a giant, giant whale, prehistoric whale. Megalodon swam the Earth's ocean for 20 million years during the Cenozoic era. Their mouths span 8 to 11 feet wide and were filled with rows of sharp teeth. With a bite force of over 40,000 pounds per square inch, a a maximum weight of over 60 tons, and a serrated teeth measuring near 7 inches, their prey did not stand a chance. Megalodons, um, they consisted of... Oh, their their mouths consisted of 276 serrated teeth. They also had six rows of teeth called files. Megalodons ruled the watery habitats, eating large marine vertebrates. Um, the phosphate deposits currently mined near Aurora, North Carolina, which is just up the street from us across the river. Mm. They have produced some of the finest and well-preserved example of the fossilized megalodon teeth in the world. Numerous other... Uh, Miocene and Pliocene, I've not probably butchered those names, aged fossils include the whales Megalodon hunted. Um, they're also found along the, the uh, with Megalodon's teeth still in them. I'm glad so, I didn't have to say some of those words. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Tongue twisted. So the cool thing about this day, it was actually um, started by our Aurora Fossil Museum. Wow. Which is Did a not five, know that. Yep, it's a 5013C nonprofit science museum. It's for Education Resource Center. It's a mission for education in public and paleo, paleontology. Um, so if you've not been out there, you can go anytime. It's great. It's a wonderful museum. It's really cool. Um, and the, the, the little town is very, it's very tiny. But you think about right now, every day at the, um, the nutrient phosphate plant, mm-hmm. they're pulling up these fossils. Wow. And so they're constantly finding it. So it's really hard to believe that as the oceans receded, of course, then there was left with these mm-hmm. megalodon fossils, right? Or other fossils. But it's also hard to believe that the ocean came up this close, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a little, that feels strange. Yeah. Well, on the weekend of the 22nd, so not this, again, not this coming weekend, but next weekend, um, I'm sorry, the 24th, they have the Fossil mu- um, Festival. Really? Yes. Yeah, wow. so Aurora's going to have a Fossil Festival. So May have plan, to check that out. Plan your trip. It's a lot of fun. They'll have a, um, I think they've got a parade and some other stuff <laughs> going on. They'll have foods and vendors and things. But it'll be a fun day. Uh, great for the kids. Around here, Ty, when mm. our kids grew up, they had shark tooth piles yeah and so the the phosphate plant would dump in the playgrounds these big giant mounds of sand and muck and Mm -hmm. the kids would go through now as a mom Mm -hmm. i'd get their little pants were covered in like little tiny shark's teeth constantly Mm -hmm. so do you remember they started doing m&ms in like the little tube do you guys remember mm-hmm. that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. About 20-some yeah. years yeah. ago. Uh-oh. Yep. So <laughs> I would send my kids in their backpack mm-hmm. a little tube of that the M&M, the empty M&M, so they could put the shark's oh, teeth in it. So they didn't end up in the washing machine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I bet so, you some did, though. But yes, yeah, yes, but That sounds yes. like a great idea. Yep. So, um, <laughs> well, I am so grateful again, Ty, that you came to partake with us and to share your blessings of your gift with food and that you will continue to um, bless our community with future food as well as teaching opportunities with our community enrichment program. So thank you so much. Yes, thank you. I could you. be your taste tester. 
Any day. Uh, yeah. If you're not uh, sure, you call us. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And Suzanne, thank you so much for thank you. jumping into Craig's seat. I'm so glad to have you. You're always a thank wonderful you, guest fun. and co-host. <laughs> so this is a blast. So before we sign off, let's make sure that you guys come back and see us next week. It'll yep. be Thursday, June 22nd, and we're going to have Zeb Huff. Um, he will be our special guest next week to discuss the community partnership with religious community services locally, and we call yes. it RCS. Um, and and we also want to see how you can get involved as well. So join us live 9 a.m. Um, on Facebook or catch the replay on YouTube. Join the conversation. Make sure to comment through the episode to ask us questions. If you'd like to join us and you have something to share, please make sure that you respond out to us. Um, uh -huh. When you see it's on YouTube or, or live, please share it with us. And don't forget to subscribe so it pops up on your phone when we go live. All right. Sounds great. Can you think of anything else? Zanette, are we good? Awesome. So I'm going to sign us out. And again, I'm so grateful. Start your day with a beautiful smile. And we will see you next time. So stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care.